everybody. I'm back from the kitchen and I'm coming to chat. Today, um, we're doing nothing other than good old USA burger and french fry or burger and potatoes in this case. Um, tips, tricks, some little extras, um, but simple, simple every night meal. I'm gonna use a couple uh, tools to show you how I love to make this. Um, so, here we go. So, first thing I'm gonna show you, this is our um, rapid prep mandolin. And um, so it does, well, it stores all together very nicely like that. Um, and you can see on the back here that we've got two dials. So there's a, um, a slice, which would be kind of, in this case for potatoes, a circle. Um, there's a French fry cut, and then there's a thin French fry cut. And then on the bottom, you've this is thickness. So everything from zero all the way to eight. Um, and so my um, potatoes are not very huge. Um, if I was doing larger, I would do more of a French fry cut. But I am gonna do, we're just gonna do the circle, okay? And then I'm gonna choose uh, we're gonna go with like a four, okay? So opens up, non-sticks on the bottom, which is awesome if it's on the counter. Um, this is the handy dandy little catch, um, but I'm not going to use that at this time and you'll see why in just a minute, okay? So what I am gonna use is this rock crock, and this is our big rock crock grill stone. I love this because it helps me to not turn on the oven in the summer. But when I am using pans that this will fit on, I just like to do it right here. We're just gonna mix as we go, okay? So, back to the mandolin, very safe, right? This slides down, the blade is locked. Um, and so this is a kid-friendly product with proper instruction. Um, this, you will lift up, it locks in the, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, let's do this. There we go, locks in this shoot. And then this is the plunge or the push. Um, and so obviously moving blade is only within here. So no fingers, um, right, safety first. And so here we go. We've got um, the circle cut at a four for these um, discs, fry discs. Um, and so I'm gonna just go ahead and add a couple in here to start. Okay, and so there we go. They're just going to be discs. And then as I go, I'm just gonna keep adding some more. Gets a little messy, but I think you get the point. Uh, let me just do a couple more here. Okay, that looks like a good amount for dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. And now in terms of, I usually just get messy um, right on my pan because I don't like dirty dishes. I think I tell everybody that, um, and I didn't need to shake this, but this is olive oil. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of drizzle a little bit. And the burgers are gonna go on the grill tonight and so, are, so is this grill pan. So this grill pan is awesome because you can use it inside on your oven, on your stove top, um, but it heats so hot that you can use it on your grill. Open flame, campfire, smoker, all the awesome outdoor options. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of slide these around a little bit, make sure they're good and oiled. Ah. <laughs> okay, and then always, so a little bit of salt on these. So what I'm gonna do with these, is make these a Parmesan herb. Um, and so herbs, right, that's a broad, a broad um, term because you can do what you want. Um, so this is just a little bit of minced garlic. And then I'm gonna add some rosemary. Um, so pick your favorite herbs is the moral of the story. Um, and if you have fresh herbs, absolutely use those. I do, but I didn't pick any. Um, time because everybody needs more time, okay? <laughs> I do, okay? And so I'm just sprinkling kind of to our taste um, and then I'm just gonna kind of mix these up one more time. 
Okay, and then to make them Parmesan, a couple options. Um, if you use kind of a, you could use freshly grated Parmesan, you could use grated, you know, Parmesan that comes in a bag, or in this case, I'm just simply gonna use, you know, the grated Parmesan. Um, and it's gonna coat these. They get a little bit extra crunchy and they are so good. <laughs> uh, we love them. So I know you will as well. Um, so there's the potatoes. Um, these herb potatoes, I love them. Um, these will be great tonight with burgers on the grill, but I also love to do any type of roasted potatoes. So just, you know, cube diced up um, in the oven or even on the stove top in the winter, I'll do them in like a cast iron pan. Um, but kind of the same story, right? Just pick some herbs that you really like or even a blend um, that works as well. But there you go, potato discs. Um, I'm gonna set these just here. So we'll throw them on the oven in a little bit. So next thing, um, if that grill stone is a little bigger than what your grill or your oven can handle, um, this is our cast iron sizzle skillet. Um, and so think, close your eyes for just a minute, think Mexican restaurant fajitas, okay? That's the sound this is gonna make um, and it will come off the grill or the stove top or even in the oven with that awesome sizzle sound. Um, I love this. Um, but not only do I love it for um, veggies and making awesome sounds in your kitchen, um, it will double up as a um, griddle. And so I have done grilled cheese, pancakes, all kinds of things on here. And again, because this is cast iron, this will last for years and years and years and years, um, but it can also be used outside on the grill, campfire, and all that. So for those of you that have adventurous lifestyles that involve uh, moving, outdoors a lot, camping, those types of things. This is an awesome choice um, for doing all those things because it's not very thick and it also, right, doesn't require any electricity. So another awesome option for you. Okay, so what else? Um, burgers, I'm not going to press the patties for you because if I get really messy, then I can't do anything else. But I do wanna show you um, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna mix up the burger and Mm, sorry, I was gonna show you our mix and chop. It's probably dirty. If you don't love getting your hands super dirty with raw meat, <laughs> nobody does. Um, our mix and chop is so great for mixing burgers. So I usually use stainless steel because I like the way it cleans up better after using raw meat. Um, so a stainless steel bowl, and I'll take that mix and chop, add in salt, add in pepper, any other seasonings you want. I also like to put shredded cheese in my meat. Um, and if you've ever made patties and have a hard time getting them to stay together, throw one or maybe two if you're doing a whole bunch of eggs um, or even a little bit of like panko breadcrumbs into your burger mix and that will help everything to stay together. So once you're done then, enter awesome burger press. So um, this will allow you to kind of choose your thickness, you know, anything from like a quarter pound to maybe um, all the way up to like a half a pound burger. Um, it's got a, see that? <laughs> it's kind of a squishy silicone bottom, which helps you to push out the patties. Um, and so I just put a little bit in here and the more you use this, you just kind of get used to the amount of, you know, meat that you need. Um, and then I, when I make them, I like to line up um, the press. You know, you're just gonna press down and obviously squish that meat out. Um, I like to line up, you know, kind of the tops. Um, but if you want a bigger burger, you know, you definitely could just line up, you know, kind of on the very top. Um, and then I'm always left with a little bit extra that never fills a full patty. Um, I don't make sliders because my people eat way too much. <laughs> so for me, it's a waste of time. However, if you love sliders and your people don't need huge burgers each, um, this will click in. Um, and I also, the leftover burger that I have that doesn't make a full one, you're gonna flip this upside down and there's your slider press. Same thing, pushes on the bottom, so they come out nicely. Um, so obviously this works great for burgers and um, you know, turkey burgers, any other burgers, salmon burgers, anybody eat those? Those are awesome. Um, so 
that is a great, great product. Um, and so the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is just a little bit of, well, I call this fancy. It's a, it's a garlic aioli. It is not fancy, I think you'll see. It is so easy, um, but it just steps up. Like any burger you ever get at a restaurant always has some sort of secret sauce. So this is the secret sauce, right? Mayonnaise, starting, super simple, okay? This is a uh, garlic clove garlic press. Love this thing because it presses everything and it does not, you do not need to get your hands all filthy. Um, you know, so I'm going to scrape off this. Um, the, this does come with this handy little tool that sticks in here and cleans this out and you never have to touch garlic. However, it got stuck in the bottom of my dishwasher um, and it was disgusting. So I threw it away. Um, okay, so garlic and then I'm going to add a little bit of Okay, so this is a Spanish sweet paprika. Any will do. Um, I particularly like this one though. And so you're gonna add, well, a little bit. You don't need a ton, but you're gonna kind of turn it kind of a, a light orange color. So the garlic and the paprika, this is amazing with the french fries, um, but I love to add it on the burger buns. Um, like I said, it's kind of the secret sauce so easy to make and that's it super easy so um other ads you could do to this throw a little bit of lemon juice in this um different seasonings but aioli i always was so intimidated by that long ago like man that's such a fancy thing thinking that it took forever you know to make this special sauce and turns out that's not true turns out it's so easy to make um and so this is an awesome act burger so that's what we're having tonight. We're gonna have burgers um, with the secret sauce, the herb uh, Parmesan potatoes, and we will just do a salad on the side. There's tons of fresh veggies right now. And so just the salad, we'll, we'll check the veggie box heavily and that will be a wrap. So hopefully you've learned a couple tips, tricks. Um, please, I would love to hear, what are your favorite burger toppings? Throw that down in the comments. Um, if you are feeling very fun, Feel free to use your little emoji bar and do them with that. Otherwise, um, you know, list them out. I'd love to hear them. So my personal favorites are um, love bacon, Havarti cheese, and barbecue sauce, if I'm not doing the secret sauce. But if the secret sauce is there, um, Havarti and avocado would be my top choices. So enjoy. You the rest of your summer and your summertime cooking and let me know if I can answer any other questions on anything here or anything else. So we'll see you later.